Hello guys, Who here, back with another video. This time around we are, as the title says, going to talk about void holes in the club world. And you might be wondering why are we talking about void holes? Well, because that is an opportunity for you to actually by yourself actually defeat those rampage bosses yourself. It'll make more sense when you see it. It's pretty simple, like how you are actually defeating them. But actually finding the void holes in your club world is not that easy. So make it step by step so you guys can get it. Void holes yourself in your club world. Or you can use, of course, Club Wahoo. Just, uh, I'll put it right here on the screen. Uh, join Wahoo uh, Club who uh, and you can type that in and you can just join here and find how we are going to do it and I'll show you guys later which portals to use and stuff like that when you do spawn in on the club world so like I said the kind of idea with this video came when I was live streaming here this weekend and I was talking about those rampage bosses and people were inviting me and I was like Maybe in the future, there might be not as many people doing Rampage bosses because most people have done it. There will always be people that are doing it, but it might not be as easy or maybe you want, just want to do it solo. And you can do that by this. Of course, you can also invite other people. That's always appreciated if you need, when you do so. But you can do that by yourself. So if nobody's doing Rampage bosses, you are not stuck with not can doing them if that is even how you speak english in this sense but that's the idea behind it why i wanted to make one of these in our club world and i want to also show you guys how you can make it if you want to have it in your own club world uh, but you know it could be fixed by the time that this video is in the future uh, i want to put right here a actually a fix that came earlier in 2022 we are still in 2022 but uh, it actually came there, but I wanted, I didn't see there was a fix to it. Uh, I found the void hole. Uh, there is plenty of void holes. This is done not only one in a club world. There is, um, could be many and it's very random when how many you get uh, and where it spawns and so on. I'll show you guys that again later on when we get into further in the video, but they do try to fix it. But I found this after the fix. This is about six months or seven months since they tried to fix it and I think it might have been fixed in some worlds but at least it wasn't fixed here so if you don't find one it might have been fixed in a future patch or something like that then I will link it in the description uh, if there's a patch note that refers to fixing it and well they tried to fix it and didn't fix it so it might not be fixed or they might they can't maybe can't fix it uh, maybe it's fixed in new clubs that are uh, made this is a club uh, is made before that so it doesn't refer to anything like that it just says hey we fixed the void holes and also existing void holes but maybe mine were created because afterwards I don't know Maybe it'll be uh, working, maybe it won't, uh, but at least if you, tr you know, look uh, complete through your whole, you know, club world and you didn't find one, it is fixed, so you might be uh, wasting a little bit of time there. But I did find one after this, so listen, you never know when it is fixed or not, but, uh, and I don't know if ours ever is going to be fixed in our club world, in the club who here in the community club that we do have, so no nobody knows at it could be fixed it could not be fixed so at least they tried and so they are aware of the void holes that are in the clubs that is here so that's the kind of explanation behind it and like i said in the description i've linked i will link when i will update the description uh, to reflect if there's some changes to the void holes in the future so with that said let's head into step number one of what you are going to do if you want to get your void holes yourself all right, so step number one is that you have to do some prep work uh, and the, at your hub place, if you have one of those, at least where you can craft a few things. The first thing you do want to get is not something you really craft, it's something that you buy, which is the, uh, I think it's under more, is it? Uh, I need to get the flask. Yes, the death defying bale. Uh, this is not something that costs real money. It's going to cost you the cubits. So you want to have this one. You can also kind of do it without, but I, I don't recommend doing it without, um, not at all actually. I would very prefer you have this one. And many people do have this one. This is one of the most useful or used actually, the Death Defined Veil uh, of the flash that you have. So have one of these, doesn't matter how many charges you have, you can have, I think it, at least five charges I think you need or like six, whatever. You'll, I'll show you guys that when we get to the, pre the step that is basically doing it. It's because we are going to the sea of regret and that's gonna take some damage. And while you do uh, make one of the islands, which I'll show you, you'll take some damage. The death defying is gonna counter that. I don't know if it stops if you die, so you can, might be able to still do it if you are dead. 
but uh, you will definitely have to go back to the place and then f you know go from spawn and then go back to to the island again so i think you can do it i've never died while creating uh, a zone or a place in a club world so but that's step number uh, one for uh, getting the death defying here all right so for step number two we have some stuff we need to craft so we did the death defying uh, we talked about that in step number one next thing you want to craft is two things the one is in the rune crafting so you do have to get rune crafting up to rune master and this is an old profession so you might already have this but if you don't you do need to get it up here or you can have somebody else in your club world that do have 250 uh, rune crafting i do have on the channel if you just search for rune you will find a rune crafting guide it's not super updated at the moment because they haven't changed it since then but it still works as of right now so you can go ahead and get yourself to 250 uh, skill if you haven't already for this because you need to craft some of these here portals it's not necessary for per se because you can still just go from you know spawn and to the island or where you are going to have the void hole but sometimes it's like 2000 blocks away and it's just very nice to have one of these so you're going to have to craft two of these if you don't already have one uh, maybe you want to pick the yellow or red whatever it doesn't matter what color you want uh, and then place one down in where your spawn is and then the one where you are going to have so so you basically go from one portal to the other one to go backwards and forwards uh, and you have that instead of you have to run there or fly every single time uh going backwards and forwards so that's the first craft it's not super necessary again you can do it without but um i would really recommend you have one portal so you can go backwards and forwards all a little bit easier and you can do that with these but again you can have another in your club world or friend or something like that craft it and then they can also i think they are tradable and if they're not tradable uh you can you know get them to trade and place them down like that the next thing is actually very very crucial that you are going to buy or not buy sorry to craft and if that is in the world spring so you've got to craft yourself a world spring i think you crafted i can't remember i think it's from club world there you go in the club world so that is in the builders crafting bench on the club world you craft yourself the world spring that's the one you need this is the crafting materials that you need to craft that one uh, many clubs already have it uh, but if you don't i'm also talking to people that just started out but you go into the world spring and then you go and you make one uh, i've made five biomes uh, you can make as many as you want but at least you want one biome uh, so i'll show you guys that but you kind of want to have uh, because the void holes kind of in in the cracks between if i open up the map here you can sort of see that it's like a line here you can see the line here that's one uh, like one tile if you can say like that one biome and it just basically goes around all the way around and this one is this one so the, usually the void holes creates in the gaps here so when you put down one of these zones i'll just call them zones it's going to be in the edge here so you kind of want to have like all the way around so you that's why you want to make i say four uh five of these zones but you can you can do it with one technically but first you of course you make the infinium frame and then you of course you make one of these you don't want to make the sea of regret that's already there so don't really want to go ahead and, and you don't want to make the tranquility uh, water either unless you want to do a bunch of with with water but i don't recommend that but then you can go ahead and take any of the other ones i took the neon city biome you can take again whatever biome you want to the ones you maybe have mostly of the crafting materials for and one of them is that is not like extremely expensive see that this is pretty expensive this one is pretty expensive at the moment it might in future be super cheap but uh, yeah some of them as you can see is a little bit more expensive than other ones and i just picked the neon city biome but most of these biomes up here are very very uh you know cheap uh, compared to some of the newer ones of course but yeah just go ahead and make like i said four to five and then you can make a lot of room around the void hold as this but that's all you need to do for uh, prep work and now we can head into moving into step number three all right so for step number three you just have to pick a destination uh, and what i need by destination you can see here we got the map and uh you can just cho choose uh you don't need the inventory just because i have to have the mouse as you can see you just choose a direction to go in doesn't matter which one it is it, it's not like oh it's always north or it's always south or something like that i first went uh, sort of this way uh, i guess that's east southeast and then a northeast i kind of went that way and kind of went that way as well but mine was here sort of in the southwest kind of corner but it could also been uh you know further it could have just been like right out here but i found it like two blocks away so my suggestion is that when you try to look for this you don't want to go away more than like three thousand blocks if you go out three thousand blocks 
Uh, I think you should try to find another direction. If you tried all the directions, you sort of maybe have to. Then I would recommend you sort of looking up for the description to see if it's actually fixed. Uh, and maybe it's, you know, it is fixed in the future or maybe it just don't have one or maybe you would just want to look even further but 3000 blocks out is pretty pretty crazy I, the videos that i found on how you're going to find it because i didn't know how to do it either they also went out about 2000 blocks so it's not guaranteed on 2000 blocks but i'm just saying if you don't see one after 3000 i don't think you should keep uh, going either uh, depending also on how many death defines you have left but the way you do it is that you don't want to sail in the regret because then you are going to do damage so what you want to do is you want to uh, get to some uh, maybe to the edge uh, i would suggest of the whatever world you have uh, you can maybe see just start with one that seems pretty far out there so i would just start on on here maybe that's the furthest out maybe if you just see sort of in this is the middle whatever but doesn't really matter but the point is just make a high pillar you can make a high pillar depending on how many jumps you have you want to take the class you have most jumps on doesn't matter which class it is you could also be of course some of the faster classes like a ninja, ninja and stuff like that that will make you get out there faster but what you want to do is just you know get up as fast uh, high as you can not as fast as you can but as high and then you just want to fly when you fly over the sea of regret you don't take damage uh and i picked a really bad place to do this so I will be back in one second and you guys can see when we hit the Sea of Regret. All right, as you can see, we are now hitting the Sea of Regret. It's going to say right up there in the top, see Sea of Regret. And if I go down, and I, you can also see it has a bit of a different color to this, but if I do go into the water, I am going to take damage, as you can see. And if I do have Death Define, it is going to save me whenever I hit that zero. But let's say we are going up in the air here, and you can see I'm going to fly over the Sea of Regret again, and I'm not going to take any damage. I'm going to take damage when I hit the water. So I'm just going to, let's say what happens when we get closer, you know, I'm going to, you know, we're not going to fly up. So uh, you can also use the, uh, the Air Dragon that flies a little bit faster so if you want to use that one but see, now we are going to hit the water and we are going to take some damage so what you do is you just again uh, it resets your jump when you hit the water so you can basically just jump up as far, as, uh, far high as you can and then start flying again and that's basically just how you do step number three and you just keep going until you hit it and I will show you guys uh, also here when we uh, in this step I will also show you uh, what you are looking for because you can see here there's just a ton of dark blue water out here so what are you actually looking for and I will show that in this step as well so I'll see you guys at the void hole when we get to that one. Uh, really quickly before we do hit the, uh, the place I did make a portal where uh, out there so i used the yellow portal it doesn't really again matter which one and it does link up to a different place but it do right here and this is where we got the void hole if you want to go back uh, you can do slash respawn and you can get back for whenever you find the void hole uh, again if you don't i didn't bring portals the first time i didn't bring you know i just found it and then i uh, you know had to find it again i wrote down where it was you can see this is almost 3000 blocks out on the minus uh to find this one and you can see here you can see right down into the void so on the map this is what it's gonna look like you can see i'm a little bit in the way so if i go over here it might be easier to see and i'm zoomed in as much as i can but as you can see there's yellow here this is actually also void holes but there is a big one right here so what you want to look on for the map is that you want to look for this yellow of course this is something i made this around here this is what i made uh so it's not something you basically i you know used the the, the, the biome thing and then i made biomes all the way around so it was definitely covered i might make one more here i don't know because it depends on how big a room i want to make but this is what you're looking for and it's going to look like this little yellow spot uh maybe not these uh, other spots up here but definitely a spot like this one and then when you uh you can go down and you can see it uh all right all right away but when you make you don't have to make the biomes on top of it it's just that when you make the biomes around it it will have you so you're not in the sea of regret and you won't take damage so the first one you make the first biome you are going to take damage uh, because you're basically uh, you know using the item and then you fall down in the sea of regret and you're going to start to take damage so that's why you want the death to find so you don't die while you do it and then you basically when you could just put down your different biomes and then i just you know go all the way down there should be a hole somewhere here yeah there it is you can see it right there that goes all the way to the surface. I can just jump up real quick. 
should hopefully have enough jumps. Yeah, as you can see right here, this is just the biomes that I made on top of it. Uh, and then Invexi also made this sort of weird colored on here. And I just took, uh, oh, that's not the hole. It should be right here. If I could fall down, there we go. Whoop, and don't fall in the void, <laughs> I don't want to die. And basically I just took some bombs and I just cleared out the area and then I put down the portal so I can get back. As you can see, now we are back in spawn. So just hit the portal one more time. There we go in here and then I just, you know, made a little bit, a bit of a room so we have something to work with. With and I will also show in you guys in the, in the in the end here how I made the whole room. I'll make you show you guys that how it is. And that won't be step four, but that's basically how you found it in three steps here. Basically, remember to have the prep thing. This is making it easier. Again, you can just go out there. You don't have to prep for it. Uh, you do have to have the death defying though. That sort of step one is kind of avoidable, non avoidable kind of in a way, um, depending on how good you are uh, at not taking damage or not dying. Um, but uh, yeah, the, the, the next steps are just more of a comfortable in, in a way, I would say. But you definitely need a place where you can get back and you won't take damage. Nobody's going to have a void hole in the basically in the, uh, in the in you know, as you have zero regret taking damage all the time. So you do have to make the biomes and stuff like that. But you don't have to make as many biomes, as I said. But that's basically step number three. So let's get into the outro of the video all right so this is the wrap up uh, as you can see i just wrapped up step number three and i'll show you guys this is sort of a two part where i just wrap up the video and i'll show you guys what i did with the room and of course uh in the description is all different things i'm also gonna link uh well i'm gonna type club who and then you basically just take the yellow portals two times to find this place so if you want to use this you're very very welcome to use this room uh, if you want to do so and uh, throw down some stuff and i'll show you guys also me throwing in some pinatas because that's basically the same thing uh, for for this void hole basically everything you throw down here is going to get destroyed and you will get the the items uh, for it maybe they'll change that in the future so be careful with throwing a bunch of pinatas in at once just start with one see if it it gets you the items and then yeah just make sure that it does do that as well so yeah the next part you're going to see that's going to be the last part that's just going to be the finished room and you guys can see that and uh, you guys are uh, the, the video is basically done. So uh, see you guys when the room is done. All right, guys, the uh, room is now finished. So I'll just show you guys real quick how you're gonna get there. Well, I kind of talked about it before, but uh, you know you hit these a uh, yellow portal twice uh, because you're gonna send to be sent to an area here and just hit it uh, again. That goes for all of the portals. So this I just went with a very dark room, but uh, I went with the pattern that we usually do and also the border and stuff. It does have a hole up there. I'm not sure you can see it too well uh, but since it is a neon city biome there is rain that coming down once in a while so it like makes a cool effect and also because the rampage is sort of in a neon it is a neon city biome kind of thing then it's kind of fits with the whole uh so, but it is what i went with um yeah pretty cool uh, not something crazy somebody else has suggestions if they want to do something it might change in the future but all you do is basically just down taking a pinata could be uh anything that it has like you can throw just go up to the edge and make sure you hit the uh, wall here it doesn't have to be any of the walls you just have to hit the wall if you just throw it way just down there it won't be it won't work it would like destroy down there and you'd be too far away so you do have to hit the uh you know you to hold down the button that's how you make the thing just hold it down and you can also throw it over there if you want to but if you hit the wall uh not too close to the edge but it's in sort of just in the middle there and you just uh, release the button and does that and it just becomes that and as you can see down here oh, i can't see it too much but you can see a little bit down here that i did get some uh sharp stone sub ore and some glim for doing that and the same thing will do for the uh for the rampage and of course that will be if there was a rampage going on and you made the beacons that's how you are going to get those so yeah uh, that is the room that is the video i hope you guys enjoyed it found it useful uh make sure you again go to the description check all that out and uh yeah just really hope you guys found it helpful and if you did uh, you know throw the like that'd be nice it is youtube after all you know they all like those interactions right so anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye